Yannicka, where are we? Skate park. We're a basic skate park. See this bag? That's my my skater gear. We're literally just down the road from Jordan's, Bishop's Cleave. It's a uh, it's a lovely quiet Sunday, and we've got this really basic setup of a skate park to go and just roll about on. Like I said, I'm not gonna do nothing crazy yet, <laughs> but I have got protective gear. I've got a helmet, wrist guards. I've got shin pads indoors, but um, this is all right. Let me show you this. Let me show you. I've got, I've got water in my hand. Sorry. Ugh. Bear with me. Microphone's going to be a bit quiet because I'm turning you around. I can't bother to turn the mic around. So. Got a little coping. Little box. Little quarter pipe. Little box again with a rail. And then a dual rail, a uh, little quarter with a transition. Yannicka! Where's my skates? Yannicka, do you want some skates now? Am I getting you some for your birthday? Maybe. I'm going to buy Yannicka a pair of either Rochers or Aeons, USD Aeons, for her birthday. Anyway, I'm going to get kitted up, put some shit on, have a good go. Okay. So I've got a few pairs of skates. But I've got my Aeon Basics, which are like my socks. Cheapest pair, wrist guards, to like kind of get to learn on, because I have got other Aeons as well. I've got the Aeon uh, Low Max and the Team Aeons. So these are a size nine. They're quite tight, but I changed the liner to the Shima liner, which is a rain style liner, which felt so much better than the standard USD one. So these are my learning skates. Um, I haven't skated since last year, since that little video of me in the local park to me. Um, so who knows how this is going to go. Is it wise to leave this close to a show? Not if you're worried about your abilities and if you've never done it before. But I have done this before. I used to do it a lot. And um, I don't plan on doing anything silly. Literally, I just plan on... You know like how some of you like going out for a bike ride? It's the same thing. I used to skate every day and skate around and basically just go everywhere. Um, that was my way of getting around, so no different than getting on a bike As long as I don't do no silly tricks because obviously there is stuff that can be done that is silly So I've got a train back today as well, haven't I? So this is after mill two, so this is like a bit of activity Yeah, dead quiet. This is lovely. This is all you need It's a nice. This is the kind of temperature that I used to like when it was like a skate day Not too sunny because what happens if it's a really sunny day? see these ramps of metal they burn and they literally take the skin off so if the sun's bright and it's a hot day you will literally like score yourself on the ramps so <clears throat> remember the black and white theme today Always, before you skate as well, you should do a little check with your bolts. Um, just because, especially if you've got new skates and they haven't been walked, like used a lot, sometimes the bolts can be a bit loose. Um, if they've got a UFS frame, which these don't, because they're all built in, the bolts in here you should definitely try and um, tighten. I know this is weird because it's like you know me as the bodybuilder, but it's this skate, okay? So this skate, the whole boot and the chassis, the frame, are all one piece. And the reason that is is so that you can get these wheels as close to possible to your foot so you ride the lowest possible. You'll notice there's like no space between the wheels. And that's done because basically the way they've managed to do it is they've managed to keep the wheels really tight but then keep a nice good space in the middle. And if you look at the, the frame here, this little bump, that protects the wheel from catching on a, a coping or a, a, a edge. If you have a skate that the arc starts here and the wheel protrudes more than that, then you want to change the middle wheels to something called anti-rocker, which is basically a small hard wheel for grinding. And I have that problem on another pair of my skates, which is the Shimas. 
they came with a, 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 a frame called a ground control frame but it's a flat setup like this which flat means all the wheels are the same um, but the wheel protrudes into this H block space and that's called an H block anyway again like this is all alien to probably a lot of you and you're probably like what the hell James but this is like a second little passion of mine I'm just kind of going back into a bit so if it does sound silly what I'm saying sorry if it doesn't if you enjoy it then that's cool so Very good tire laces. I never have been. <laughs> Ever since I was a young boy. So I want to get this bit quite tight. This is what holds your foot down. Stops you getting any like foot lift. So we're gonna pretty tight that. Like I say, the skate I last skated was a. Uh, my last skate that I skated was a Razor Shima, pretty much. And all skates are made differently. Some have like a forward lean, some have a back lean, depending on how the boot's made. These feel very. You'll notice when I go around the corner, I look like I'm going to tilt backwards. So inside the boot, it'll be very dead flat. There's no lift. And the shock absorber is probably quite a small one, therefore there's no kind of incline on the hill. So I'm, when I'm skating, I'm having to like counter it by leaning forward. Whereas with a hill elevated, you have to counter it by sitting down. But what you notice as well, like being so much heavier than I was when I used to skate, because primarily my main skating years were like 2000. Yeah, like when 50 dropped Get Rich or Die Trying was like when I started getting to the end of my skating. So that's like 2003. So it's nearly 20 years ago. Um, and I would have weighed, shit man, I would have weighed like what, 11 stone, 13 stone, 12, no, 11 stone, 12 stone tops. Um, so, you know, 275 pounds now. It's like 120 kilo, I don't even know what that is. It's over 20 stone. So it's like I've put on, I'm wearing the same skate. <laughs> With like 
nine stone extra body weight and it's you can feel it like in the muscles that I've been developing over the last few years but like honestly guys I'm like I'm very serious about improving at this and I you know I don't expect to be like as good at this as I've been able to be at bodybuilding and I'm not this isn't taking over but I just think in life you've sometimes got to have some things that you enjoy doing alongside the things you do do because you know bodybuilding for me in the beginning it was very much this it was very fun and it was like yeah sweet this is all new but it's like me and Jordan were discussing yesterday I've been doing it competitively since I was 18 it isn't the same you know it does change and it doesn't feel as I don't know fun you know I do it because I, I for me it's a living it's a job and I, I enjoy being good at something and and I think it's dumb to not pursue things that you are capable in but not at the expense of not doing other things that you enjoy as well so this is going to take forever like I'm going to record this I'm going to document this over the next few it's going to take years like this is like a five year plan like I'm not going to be able to do stuff that I used to do for, for quite some time but um, you know as a side note on the channel why not show you this shit as well <laughs> and uh, you know if anyone knew any of these uh, skate companies fancy sponsoring the bodybuilder you know, USD <laughs> and helping me get back onto uh, being better than I am and I'd love that but in all honesty I might reach out to a few skaters that are actually known I might see if they want to do some like cross content and you know you see like people like Eddie Hall they're like strong man does this I wouldn't mind reaching out to one of the Aeon guys like Sam Croft the British guys Lomax saying like guys have you got any time just come do one session and literally make me look like a right idiot <laughs> we'll see we'll see yeah, and I did a little bit more of just going around wearing in the boot because the, one of the first things you just need to consider as well before you even try it, loads of drastic flips and tricks is obviously you've got to get the boot to wear into your feet because there's a liner in there that's pre like kind of shaped to be stock and your feet aren't stock, everyone's feet are different and my feet are very very wide like I'm, I'm technically actually smaller than a size 9 in length but I have to wear like I could, I could even wear a 10 because of the thickness and the height of my foot, the step I have such a, a high arc that um, my feet get crushed in anything smaller. So my feet are having a little bit of a hard time in these, but I have purposely purchased a few pairs of Aeons of different sizes between nine and 10, so that if I find that these don't ever loosen up, then I can always use the bigger size. Or if I use the bigger size and then they start to feel too big, then I can go back a size. You can also adjust the liners. You can put a bigger liner in a smaller skate and really pack the room full, or you can put a smaller liner in a slightly bigger skate to kind of reduce the size so you, there's a lot of like playing around you can do um, yeah so it's just a nice day it's fresh air burn a few calories go around on a fresh pair of skates <laughs> and um, yeah go back and eat another meal and then go and train some back so yeah I'm gonna do a few more laps It was soft. But that. Militia laid down. <laughs> These are brand new press skates. I literally just put my sole plate on there. And he stopped. And no, no, it slid. I was like, wow, it's because I've heard these are quite slow at grinding. And I put it on there and it literally just went. But these are very good. So. Oh, shit. Look what's happened. Look who's got the skates on. Fuck. I'll do better than you. No, you won't. Oh, no. No, you missed it. Oh shit, <laughs> Oh my god, this is dangerous guys. Honestly, this is very dangerous. This I wouldn't suggest. If I was this bad, I wouldn't do this and bodybuilding. She doesn't know how to stop, by the way. Why does it roll without me? Because the Abex, they're Abex 9. They're like proper rapid. <laughs> it's like grind. Careful, man. <laughs> no, you can't go up there, Yannickel. Yeah, what are you trying to do? I need uh, my size. Yeah, listen, these are our size nine. Yeah, She's probably it's a size six. And then turn sharp to the right if you want to stop. 
Okay, maybe not. Desperate to do that, <laughs> determined, <laughs> determined to put. Oh no, you're not going on that, are you? <laughs> That's not even a nice ramp. Like that shape's disgusting. It's got no like transition. It's a dead straight. Oh no, don't get me aroused. She's wobbly, mate. Turning. Okay, I'm done. It's tiring, isn't it? Do your calves get pumped? No. Oh. <laughs> Well, that weren't a bad effort, I'll give you a clap. Did you enjoy that though? Yeah, would this be something I need, you... I need like that much smaller. Yeah, yeah, but would this be something you'd be willing to learn? Yeah. I'm going to get you a pair of skates for your birthday. Her birthday's in September, I'm not saying exact date, but she's going to have a pair of skates for September. I'm going to get a loco. I need these. I'm going on loco today. I'm I need these pair. and knee pads. Okay. Yeah, shout out to loco skates by the way. Let me just show you something. These are the ones I buy the skates off. These guys, very, very good. Love their stuff on YouTube. They got all the good skates and they've got very good service. Comes very quick. So thank you. So that's us in the skate park. That's all it took. 20 minutes of just fiddling around. He was a skater boy. Halfway. Let's go time.